due to finding this video on YouTube, I'm now keen to change the battery in my Yi uh, mirror dash cam. I managed to pop it open, even though this guy doesn't tell us how to open it. I've just used a sharp plastic tool and been able to wedge it in the seam. And with a little bit of levering, it pops open. You just have to slide it around, leave it, lever it as you go all the way around until it fully pops apart. Then it's connected front and back with this little ribbon from the LCD to the touchscreen. You just pop open that um, with that tiny little, tiny little uh, flap thing that needs to be popped up there. Uh, there, little flap thing there, you see that? Pop that up and slide the ribbon out. And now I will remove the four screws holding the screen in and get it out of the way. Um, they're tiny little uh, Phillips head screws. And then once that is out of the way, I will be able to look at it like he is here. And as we can already see, the battery is exposed. Okay, and when we lift up the screen, we see several cable connections underneath. Just that one there. So I'm gonna have to have a closer look at that. By the look of the video, it's mainly just the wide one down the bottom. That one there in the middle of the screen that I'm going to have to disconnect. Yep, so just peeled up the bit of sticky tape and uh, you see the ribbon runs around and folds over and goes to the screen. You just need to stick a pry thingy underneath this and pop up this black flap and then slide that out. There we go, the screen is now free. And uh, another thing he doesn't show in the video is, well, he kind of shows, but not really clearly. We're just going to cut the white wire off and put some tape over it or something. Um, so you could just cut it anywhere. Uh, this end in the middle down there, just leaving it bare. You don't want it to be touching anything. Um, but as you see, the solder points are exposed. So you could cut the wire off right there where it's soldered on. The other two, you would, I'm gonna get the soldering iron and uh, heat those solder points up and unsolder them and then solder on the new points from my battery. My battery's a bit bigger than the one on there. Um, so I might have to do a bit of smashing kind of to make it fit. It's gonna be interesting. I've used uh, my Dremel to grind off all the little thingies that were there from the old battery. So my big battery should fit in there nicely. Yes, nice and flat. So that'll be fine. I applied a bit of soldering iron heat to those wires and pulled them off. So now we'll just um, give it a vacuum out and solder on the new wires, hopefully. So, if you haven't done this kind of soldering before, I've just successfully done the red wire. Um, so what I've done is, this is my first time doing this too, so I'm not a pro, but I've put a little bit of solder, a bit of heat on the bare end of the wire that I've stripped and then put a little bit of solder on the wire like that so that is now prepped so now I'm going to hold this tip of the wire on the solder patch I'm saying solder because that's how the Americans pronounce it in Australia we say solder so I'm holding the wire on the solder and I'm going to heat it up with the tip of the wire pressing on top of it and melt them together and that's it simple you didn't need me to show you how to do that did you so that's it I'm just gonna um, try to neatly package it all together stick a bit of um, glue or something under the battery put it all back together now I've put it back together and it's running. No problems, saying full battery. It's not plugged in, usually it's in the car. 
I pulled off that uh, sticker because I thought there might be screws under there. So I'll just put that on there and it's not very sticky anymore. Might have to put some new glue under there. But anyway, it would usually die immediately when I turn off the key in the car, about maybe two seconds after turning the car key off, it'd flash red battery symbol, no battery and turn off. So that's because that garbage little battery was dead, I guess. And now we've got a brand new thousand milliamp hour battery.